Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to September 26th. Today is Thursday, so, <laughs> man, oh, man. Last night, again, all the emails start coming, dinging and banging, all the little things you have, you know, linked to things. The uh, iPhone <laughs> 11 Pro Max is going to be here today, as was originally scheduled. So, and I have to sign for it. This year was kind of weird. Um, there are, usually there's a little thing where you can digitally sign. That way you don't have to be here when it gets dropped off. And um, you can also uh, change the address. I, I just have it shipped to work. They would not allow either one of those things. So they're probably getting a bunch of fraud BS going on. So anyway, I got a sign for it. So the little woman is going to take off to work. And I'm going to hang out here and wait for the phone. I just got that yearly upgrade thing going on. Doesn't well, it costs you tax once the purchase is done or the thing goes through and it ships. But other than that, it's just a interest free monthly payment, and you always got the newest phone. What do you think about that, mama? Hey. And it's all drizzly, nasty looking out here. Yep. All righty, we'll be safe going to work. Right, Keep her under a buck twenty, will you? Right. <laughs> Love you. See you bye there, Dean. You do the same. Bye there, little woman. <laughs> Look at this all of a sudden. That would be nice for it to dry out. But, look what just showed up. <laughs> FedEx and UPS showed up at the same time. The dogs didn't know which one. Those guys always give them treats, you know. So they know, they know the sound of the truck. And it must be the same drivers all the time or something. Because... That's funny. But anyway, uh, the new iPhone 11 Pro Max just showed up in all her glory. And even pulled the tab off of it yet. So you guys know what I'll be doing for the next couple hours. And I always get space gray. I just like to keep it simple. Yeah, buddy. The reviews are raging over this bad boy. And it's nice. You just well, the payments are about six or seven dollars more than it was a month, and it's interest free, which is I, I don't even know how they get away with that. How do they do this year after year, interest free? But um, it went up a little bit because I upgraded uh, insurance and the Apple Care Plus and stuff like that. So so it went up a little bit more. But it's it's awesome. The price is the same as last year's phone. I just changed some things and kicked it up a little bit. Cheap monthly interest-free payments, and you're walking around with the highest tech. Cool stuff, man. All right, let me get at her. So, you need to be careful where you... Look at this. It had to be around Lily, or maybe that was a cat. This is... I thought this was a Kiryakin bag, but it's a Tourmaster. This is the bag that went to Utah and Yosemite, Yellowstone... I was thinking about using this on the trip. It's still got the hooks and stuff. Straps that were used on the uh, street glide last time I went. So, let's see if I can blow this thing <laughs> blow this thing off and make it look uh, presentable again. So what do you think? Is that a little more presentable? That old bag, she's been some miles, boy. And that's the rain cover on the top. So I also have that Kiryak in a, it's like a roller suitcase that I use going to a BMW training. But it also straps to a, a, to a motorcycle as well. I guess I could utilize the, well they show a picture of a luggage rack and a backrest on the Road King. But then what if I get both of those on and then I can't get my, can't wear my backpack. I don't know. We'll sort out something here. Check this out. Sun's out. What's going on with that? It's still out. Let's take this limb for a rip. Can't even remember the last time I rode this thing now. Seriously, I, I, I'd have to look at one of my old videos to see when I rode it last. It's, it's been off and on rain and all kinds of craziness going on. But let's, uh, Let's uh, fix this. 
Come on, old Slim. Let's go for a little rip. Good old gal. I just want to take you somewhere and tell you something that for like two weeks I forgot to tell you. This is pretty cool. So we'll uh, we'll take you there right quick. Good old College River. Man, look where that sun's at. Tonight is the last night that we'll have a sunset within uh, within 7 p.m. Sunset tonight here in Toledo is a uh, 7.01 tomorrow night it's 6.59 Dag the end is truly coming ah. I love them white fences man <laughs> that's um, kind of cool there's my slim shadow friend right there must have seen me leaving and says, you know what? I'm gonna follow old smoke down the road here. That rain over there, man, that is nasty. There's that beautiful barn. Yeah, buddy. Oh, look at that. Where all that's turning green out there. Something ought to be green, all that rain we got here lately. Hey there, boo cows. Good lord, look how green that is. That's why my mom loved it here in the Pacific Northwest. She was born and raised in uh, Ireland. And uh, her and my dad got married, and he uh, he brought her here to the states when she was 22. She's been here ever since, but she loved it here. She'd always tell me how much this reminds her of Ireland. Look at that old barn. It's looking nice, real nice. Cows way out there. <laughs> it still freaks me out. I'm expecting to have to, you know, counter steer this thing into the turn, you know, and it just it just wills itself into a turn. I look at the apples and the surprise there's not deer out there. Oh, they probably got all the ones they could reach. Look at that. It's not perfect sunset view of it. But it's beautiful. It's like a tree. Uh, hopefully it was accidentally knocked over, but I see where a tree's been uh, hackled up like they're gonna make firewood out of it. Yeah, it doesn't look like any logging projects been going on back there. Oh, here comes a chaser. Oh, it's just a big old, big old yellow lab. But they got teeth too, right? It's steep. Hold on. Mama. <laughs> oh, yeah, the brakes. <laughs> Maybe just touch them so light. This is the Blue Creek Boat Launch. If I can find this uh, news article, because a couple weeks ago, that a guy right around this boat launch he's a photographer and videographer and he was out here and had a camera on a tripod or whatever and he's just looking at the beautiful scenery and there was like a, a beaver coming across the the callets and he was kind of focused on that and he looks up and there's a cougar walking along the shore and he's like whoa and then it kind of he's watching it for a bit and then it kind of walks up and tucks into some woods off to the side here and uh next thing you know the cougar comes back and three more are following it must have been a family or something but there's four cougars just wandering around the bit the shore of the callets out here right here oh yeah we definitely got some more water down here now 
She's a kicking up. Still down quite a bit from a. Uh, I was trying to figure out where he was. It looks. It looked really familiar. I almost want to say he was around this bend here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. If I can find that link, Kelly came across it and, and posted it. That was really cool. That being said, I wouldn't want to be sitting here and they can walk around the corner. That would be a that would be a little nerve wracking. God, it's nice out here. If I was a cougar, I'd be roaming around down here too. Super nice, real super nice. Well, <laughs> I gotta adjust the headlight now. I got off of her and I kicked a rock underneath there. And I reached up and uh, I, I, was I was trying to like rock it back just a little bit and kick the rock out of the front wheel just in case it rolled. And woof! I pushed hard enough that I made the headlight go back. So she's not. Not completely tight. Tight as it needs to be, but when you're trying to push a heavy motorcycle backwards, God only knows where it's at now. And I gotta rig up my little, I got little tape marks on the wall where, <laughs> you know, the iron and everything else has their little spot. <laughs> Nothing like this thing uh, rolling past a compression stroke and going. Boom! Poof! Knock it off the stand. Yeah, the people must be just right over the bank there fishing. Or maybe they were fishing and the four uh, cougars came back. Boy, them colors are changing fast. Oh, that smells so good out here. This has that fall smell. Should we take a look? Looks dry. Jeez, that thing is steep. Holy moly. Ooh, that's raging pretty good. Look at that. Of course, that's so far away you can't see it. Yeah, it's got some nice little rapids going on. You know, he was he was up a little bit. And it was right in a turn and it was little bushes like this that they walked into and then walked back out. I bet you it was right there around this turn. He was probably up on this up on this dike looking down. You know, let me know if one of them comes creeping out. But they're they're pretty elusive. Unless they're really hungry or something. They they'll watch you, but they're not gonna come after you. Yeah. You guys have to, if I can, I hope I can find that. God, is it beautiful. Oh, we had a storm towards the north. We were kind of keeping an eyeball peeled on, weren't we? Let's not let that thing sneak up on us. Anyway, that's pretty cool. The uh, four cougars roaming around down there on the, on the shore. But one has to wonder, where are they now? does look good that dark background there though I love it when you get little visuals like that hey there old no he's a good old boy anyway I'm gonna loop through there's one flashing light town of Toledo here. Hit the highways and the bar. She's that truck. I thought I thought some sound was coming from this. They got something going on there. I wonder what that was there for the last couple of weeks when you find a nice day, but God that's beautiful. Holy moly. Got some big old hogs out there in that pen. Them boys is big. It's shining over there. Oh, it's just some the backside of some signs. Somebody must have put some signs up for that property. 
anyway, I'm gonna finish going up the hill. Look, at, we must be reaching the dew point. I literally see dew floating in there above the road behind me there. I didn't notice it when I was in it. If you look down the horizon, you can see it. All right, on this beautiful, stunningly beautiful night, I'm gonna let you go. We'll talk at you when the little woman gets home. All right, thanks for coming along for a ride on the slim. We'll talk at you later. <laughs> There's the little woman. All the crazy dogs. Look at you guys acting like you haven't seen me all day. I've been here with you all day. Hi there, little woman. Insanity. Well, hello there, you two. <laughs> Look how tall she is. Uh, I'm, st I'm standing in a hole. <laughs> I found this little spot that just works out. It does. So it evens us up so the camera's not like doing this thing. You know? Yeah. Because I am short. <laughs> so, heck yeah, man. It's been a good day. The old iPhone showed up. Loving this thing. Well, it's not to love. It's freaking iPhone, man. <laughs> yeah. It's my fault. Man, that camera. That's something else. Can't wait to play with that. And. So some of my favorite apps um, catch up and, and uh, are compatible with the three lens system. Some of them, one of them, my favorite photo things won't even take a RAW plus JPEG. So there, there's some catching up to do with those guys, but that's all right. They'll get there. Oh yeah. Just the default camera is pretty freaking amazing. Wow. It's crazy. Mm. But anyway, then we got a good slim ride in. That was very nice. Oh, that was so relaxing. So I, I'd been gone for like 45 minutes or something like that. And it don't, I was thinking about hitting a hole. I was down some road I'd never gone down before. I don't know why that made me think of the seat. And it dawned on me, I'm sitting on the new seat. Oh. All that, never even thought about it. Well, that's good. That's one of those little things when you don't think about suspension, you don't think about seats or anything like that, you know it's right. Yeah. So, heck yeah. That was, that was the perfect seat for the perfect motorcycle. Very For me, good. anyway. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to roll out on you. We'll be together tomorrow. So. Yeah. All righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Friday or Saturday. Thank you. Hopefully it turns out to be as nice as it did today for a rainy day. Yeah. Dried up, got a ride. Man, just can't beat that. Very good. All right. Till tomorrow. You guys take care. Thank you, guys. See you in the morning. Bye-bye. <laughs>